Hi, so here is a long-awaited dressing room transformation. However, um, I lost a few clips to the start of this video. Uh, so yeah, let's recap. When we first moved the house, it was a little bit something like this. Well, bedroom three did anyway. It originally was a little nursery for a baby um, from the previous owners. And when I saw it, I thought this would be the perfect dressing room. So when we moved, I didn't really have an idea what bedroom three would be. But when we saw it at this size, I just said to Dan, this would be the perfect little walk-in wardrobe dressing room kind of situation. And he actually agreed. So that's what we did. We turned this room into a dressing room. So I enjoyed the transformation. Before we do quickly jump into the video, you're going to see a complete different transformation all of a sudden as I have lost a couple clips. So one of the first jobs was moving the radiator as the radiator was just in a complete wrong space. For us, it meant that my dressing table didn't actually fit in the room. So yeah, got a quote and it was like 300 odd pounds to move a radiator, which was just silly. And it ended up being cheaper to get a tall, thin radiator to fit against the wall. Um, which then gave us the space to put the dressing table in nicely. It just saved us a lot of money and the radiator looked nicer, so that is what we did. We also had Artex on our ceilings, which I can't say I'm a fan of, and we removed that as well. But then the next few clips are step by step and you'll see the process. I'm about to show you guys what the dressing room is currently looking like. So we have no floor. And the ceilings have been plastered and this is what we're looking like Ta-da! so yeah no carpet there will be floor put down the floor is currently here it's this gray we've gone for hard flooring as it's a dressing room it's not a bedroom it's going to be a dressing room at all times so we're getting ready fake tanning and whatnot in there carpet just definitely isn't the right idea so we've gone for this like hard we're going to go to for vinyl but i believe this is like a thick nice kind of like faux wood laminate so that's going on the floor and a new addition right here. Trying to hide this on the logs has been a mission, but I went for a radiator. Purely because we got quoted a stupid charge to move. My hand is currently really swollen. I got stung by a bee. We're going to ignore it. But we got charged silly money to move the little radiator from there to there. And it worked out cheaper to get this radiator. And obviously it just looks so much nicer, especially for a dressing room. The Artex has gone. I can't believe I'm saying it. It's gone. And I'm so happy about it. There's loads of like lines on the wall from the plaster that needs to be wiped down. But Dan is coming to paint this now white because it's been quite a few days since the plaster has been. So we can now paint it. But this is what our little dressing room my little dressing room's looking like and then this is eventually going to go here and the wardrobes have also been ordered so we are getting there so we have floor no more artex dan is currently painting it and i've decided that i want to get like cove in here now just because it i mean dan would paint it that gray anyway but it just leaves like a neater finish but wow, can we all just take a moment because we are coming together nicely so this is a setup obviously this is going to go on the wall um yeah this is going to go up on the wall a little bit higher only a little bit my little mirror there obviously got the blinds here so happy we went for this radiator because it just fits so nicely then i'm going to try and find a stool tomorrow that will kind of like slot under there as like wardrobes are going to come out to about here so rather than having a chair, I'm just gonna have a little stool on there. <laughs> yeah, this is what we are currently looking like. So we've just bought the coven because it's all around here in the house, but the dressing room, as you can see, didn't have it. Um, sorry, there's Dan. Summation. So we've just brought some coven. You can put it down. Um, for the dressing room because the rest of the house has it. And I mean, we would have put, well, I say we, Dan, Dan's done everything, not me, would have put a neater finish on this end anyway, but it's just the coven just personally looks nicer, in my opinion. Cool. Dun, da, da, da. Notice anything different? The wardrobes are in. Ikea packs wardrobes. We're waiting on two baskets here, which I don't think are going to come in time for this video to go live, but 
I'm sorry, this is my boyfriend's genius idea. We have one clear drawer just here, and Dan came up with the genius idea of putting my dunks in there, and my Jordans. I was like, wow, love that. And then we have these three drawers just here. Hanging space, this is gonna be for like coats, gilets, thicker wintry stuff, and then t-shirts, hoodies, things like that in here. You think it's done? No, 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 no. <laughs> Da, 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 da. This is what I was most excited about. So we took a risk. We have a hundred centimeter one, seventy-five centimeter one, and fifty centimeter one. That in total is the exact width of this room, and we took the risk, and it paid off. As you can see, we are fixed to this wall. And do you know what? In all fairness, we still have that little bit of gap left, but I'm so glad we took the risk because I said to Dan. Obviously, I'm so grateful to have these two wardrobes, but I didn't know where I was going to put all out my fake tan and things like that. So the fact that we actually managed to do this, but anyway, these are like deep drawers as well. So these are the IKEA Max wardrobes. I'm not putting drawers on them because uh, when you add the doors on the website, it brings the um, depth out quite a lot and it would have like covered the window. So no doors on them which is fine because it's the, the idea of this room is like a walk-in wardrobe. Walk wardrobe rather than a, a wardrobe exactly so it kind of works well yeah. and then this this is my life fitting it's from next is the hollywood mirror i got this from amazon um last year and then my boots number seven mirror and we have this gorgeous store here which i picked up today from next which has storage which has heels in at the minute. I think that's where I'm gonna keep my heels because I don't have many. So yeah, and obviously my dressing table. But currently, let's go into the bedroom. It's time to sort out clothes. Um, it's like Dan said, I don't need to be that ruthless anymore because there's a lot of storage. Um, but I still wanna get rid of some stuff. There's a couple charity bags downstairs. So I'm gonna fill a couple of those up. Um, and get rid of some clothes basically. Yeah. These have just come out from the loft. These are all from my bedroom at home. Well, like my parents' home. So yeah, they've been in the loft. Don't really know what's in much clothes in that one. Please ignore all the tools. Um, more clothes. Underwear I think is in a lot of them. In that one there's a lot of like lounge underwear. So we're going to get putting this away and organizing the whole drawer section. Also got my nails in today, how pretty. This is a good angle. Um, a lot of it is like pajamas. Um, I've put some of the clothes away because that's kind of boring, but I forgot like how many cute little pajama sets I've had <laughs> that I just haven't seen in the longest time. Well, in over a year, because they would have been from last summer. Um, so I'm going to put these away. I do definitely think I'll eventually need two drawers for pyjamas, just because I do seem to have a lot. But, at the same time, if I give myself, like, not loads, it gives me more of a reason to sort out, because who actually needs more than 10 pairs of pyjamas? Cute! This is my little pyjama drawer, if you want to have a look. See? <laughs> and I can stack, I can get, like, one more on top of everything, I reckon. There's pyjamas, this is like just like normal underwear, guys, oh, not guys, girls, <laughs> how satisfying is it, well not satisfying but like the fact I have like all my lounge stuff, I mean yeah these are bikinis but I've got like my nice lounge stuff in here, let's hope like when my parents come round or like my grandparents they never bloody open this drawer because that's a little bit embarrassing for me isn't it. So I kept it down here, I purposely didn't put it like eye length or like easy reach, like I feel like if you're going to get to any of these drawers it's going to be this one, so I <laughs> kept it down there. Okay, so hair stuff, well when I say hair stuff, that hair brush shouldn't be in there, it's like um, straighteners, curlers, hair dryers, underwear, swimwear, should we do like hair sprays? Well, I've got a blooming big drawer under my dressing table as well that like hair brushes can go into. But I don't need like three hair brushes in a dressing table drawer, do I? So, yeah, we can put hair brushes, dry shampoo, shampoo conditioners, like spare ones, and like hairspray, dry shampoo, yeah, all of that kind of jazz and hit, I think. And then, I mean, that would have been good to do it next to the, all the hair stuff, but. 
just going to keep that one down there. Yeah, uh, that's a good idea. And then what could go in here? I think it's going to have to be like makeup palettes. Could you make makeup palettes and perfumes and then spare makeup bits in here? We're going to have to see as we go. <laughs> but for now I'm going to do hair stuff in here. Oh, also, I have ordered some, um, let me show you, because they're so good. If you guys saw or watched when I did the Sheen, is this going to open? The Sheen homeware video, I picked up these. They are honestly insane. They're linked in the Sheen video. Um, they're insane. Like, you can stack them, take them apart, like, give yourself more storage. I think I've ordered five, um, just for a couple drawers, so I can, like, really properly organise them. So, when they come, I will do a whole bit in a vlog, like, properly, like, properly organise and everything. Um, but now it's kind of just going to get placed in its position. And then when everything comes, we can organise it properly. But, yeah. So, I thought it was about time I showed you guys the final tour of the dressing room so here it is dun, dun, dun. um i am aware <laughs> there's two baskets that need to go there which are going to be for bags but you come in so we actually have a black light switch we do need to paint just around here as it's a little bit smaller than the one that was there before but we have a light switch that leads to our light i love how it turns off how it just like ho -ho. it's from next um, so yeah, you walk in, we have our tall radiator just here, which I think was from a website called Best Heating, just type in like tall radiators and so many different ones come up, but yeah, we have like the black kind of aesthetic going on there with the grey walls, come round, here is our Hollywood mirror, I got this on off Amazon a couple years ago, uh, a couple years ago last year, um, and I love it, you can kind of just like change the warmth on it, like have like a warmer kind of light on there, which actually looks nicer at night time and the cooler looks nicer in the day. So there is a nice warm lighting. Dressing table is from Ikea. My trusty little boots mirror. Um, go into this drawer. These drawers are so good. They're so much bigger than I thought. So this divider is from Ikea. I really wish I picked up two to kind of go like either side and then I'd like a little space in the middle. Um, but this just has like my everyday kind of makeup in it. So I've got like bronzers highlighters just here um more bronzers foundation some mascara i don't really well, i've never organized makeup like this isn't actually organized um but i know where everything is mascaras and brushes my refry that should be in there um brow stuff which i swear by now and then liquid lipsticks and lip glosses and concealers and then these are just like lipsticks lash glue in there these are just like little bits for um, well that one's now empty bits of jewellery, bobbles, just little bits just somewhere to put them this, yeah, this isn't like organised yet I am waiting on dividers still and I still have a lot of room as you can tell I'm sure it'll fill up quickly though a couple hairbrushes there we then have this stool just here which is from Next Home and it is Ottoman so the lid does come off it and I just I'm going to put heels in there just because I don't need to get to them and they're kind of just out of the way um, and that ticks in really nicely there. Going on to the windowsill, blinders from blinds to go. We have to have the Wi-Fi in here, which isn't a bad thing because while I'm getting ready, I've got really speedy internet. Um, I didn't realise, but like Wi-Fis have to go in certain places depending like where the cable comes into the house. And weirdly, the cable, I thought it was always like hallways that they come in, but it's not, it's this one's in this third bedroom which it can be moved but it's a lot of effort so yeah it's just here that really needs cleaning got a little re-diffuser just here um this is from i think bow avenue dan's mum got it me for christmas i just thought it was quite cute got my nice little germaline candle that i will never light this was a moving in present from one of my best friends just fits so nicely in here as soon as i saw it i was like oh that would look so nice in the dressing room Moving on, we have the first little, this is like the 50 centimetre. No, it's definitely not 50 centimetres. What is it? That's not 50 centimetres, is it? What could it be? It's not 50 metres. No, 75 centimetres. Yeah, 75, 100. And then the 50 ones there. So yeah, we have... Um, coats just here, with my winter coats and jackets, 
just like so just like so um i could i just think i could probably get another drawer here but i'm not going to because it's nice how they kind of line up so i'm gonna try and leave this bit empty there's just spare coat hangers there at the minute i kind of don't want this to clutter up um but yeah coach gilo's kind of more winter things are just there and then we have drawers you guys have seen these already so this is obviously just underwear drawer pajama drawer and then we're having two baskets which haven't come yet um they come in some point this month i think like next week actually maybe they come in um and all these bags will be in the baskets moving over to our bigger rail so this is literally t-shirts um hoodies over shirts sweatshirts and a few dresses just here so just things i didn't want to fold up so like obviously more bigger things and shirts and t-shirts i didn't want to fold up are all just here hung up nicely and there is still a decent bit of room although i've used all the coat hangers didn't think i was going to do that this is my favorite bit and this was dan's idea and i think it looks so sick so i've got my jordans and my dunks just here and i have some zara high tops behind there but basically this will have like all my nicer shoes or like my trainers in it so i'm hoping to get some more dunks to put in here um i think i'll put like my comedy gas ones in there maybe my mcqueens i need to find those i've like lost them it's a shame i got them for my 21st and then we went into lockdown so i haven't ever really worn them <laughs> so they're like brand spanking new which is a bonus i guess but they'll go in there this is going to be the most used drawer this is like crop tops and t-shirts and little vest tops these are like just what i wear every day kind of thing like all my little crop tops that i wear with joggers and jeans uh dresses and like this is like a romper play suit more dresses just there this is a little bit of like not skirting i don't know it has to like go down here like connects the floor to the wall oh, i don't really know what it is and then we have this is like gonna start to overspill because it's the drawer below is filling up already but this is like leggings shorts cycling shorts skirts denim shorts but i think i'm gonna need to bring jeans up here because as you can see we already have our first really full drawer this is like my jeans and joggers so i think once summer's over like in a couple of weeks i'm gonna i've got an empty drawer here still so i think i'm gonna have to resort these out and move skirts into one of these drawers because i don't have many and they're really little and i think this will have to be cycling shorts and more joggers will move over into here and just as that one is very full then this is my favorite part i love the skirt board needs to go back on i love this little section so i have a little shelf bit up here this is the thing i added shelves make sure you get the shelves to add on top otherwise you'll just be like that would without the shelf it would look like that on top do you know what i mean so yeah make sure you get the shelves if you um do the ikea packs but yeah i got a shelf just here purely because another drawer i don't think would fit or i obviously thought there's no point me getting the drawer all the way up there but that has just got my jewelry box on it this is Arlo stuff. This is like really random crap basically that I don't want to get rid of. This drawer is that like empty drawer. This drawer is like my bits and bobs stuff that I use pretty much every day. So makeup wipes, pads, bubbles, palettes, beauty blenders, sun cream, <laughs> tweezers. Um, but once I get the dividers, I'll do a proper like tour and a vlog, um, and we'll organise it properly in a vlog. Just as they haven't come now, I haven't gone into it too much. This one again empty, but I did mention that once the dividers come, this will be like the overspill of makeup stuff and like makeup I haven't used yet. We'll go into here. This is my favourite one <laughs> purely because it has the organisers in it: fake tan, hair stuff, hair brushes, face tan hairbrushes and my hair gel um swimming stuff i think i don't know why i thought i didn't think of this yesterday but when am i going to go in this drawer so i'm going to move this drawer to one of these which one was it probably arlo stuff and i'll find somewhere else for arlo stuff to go um because it's just best my swimming stuff being all the way at the top because i'm only going to use it when i go on holiday so this will then become a free drawer and probably where like skirts will go into uh, lounge underwears in there and then my favorite one baskets with straighteners curlers things like that in um, don't forget to buy these as well <laughs> these i haven't bothered doing like the holes 
here because you just can't see them. Okay, the camera cut off, I hope. I got a lot of that, but got these sticky hooks which are from Amazon. They just stick on the back of the door. I've just put these bags on the back for now. This is Princess Polly, that is River Island. They'll probably change. Um, I need to go through all my bags. They've been up in the loft for the longest time, so I'm sure once I put sort them all out in the baskets, they'll change. Um, but the only problem we do have is the door. It slams quite a lot on here and has already chipped the um, wood. So Dan's had to just like stick this. I don't know what it is, um, but it makes it the paint not chip now. Um, it's some form of like, not glue. I think it's like filler that he used for this. But I mean, as long as it stops it scratching, you can't exactly see that. And I'd rather have all this storage than nothing. These are packs as well, by the way. I just built them and added a load of drawers in. And I'm so glad I did that. Because originally I was just going to have this and this. Um, but we, I don't know if I spoke about it, but we really risked it, risked it, sorry. And the size of this <laughs> was the exact measurement of the wall. This is why it's such a good fit. Um, albeit we have that tiny little bit left. That is the dressing room tour transformation. Thanks for joining the journey. That's what it's looking like. I love the no doors. I know the no doors is going to be for everyone. I actually can't have doors on it. One, they wouldn't really open and two they'd like overlap over the window and I didn't want that because they're quite tricky the doors are and as it is a walk-in wardrobe it's not in my bedroom like the idea of this room is it's, it is a dressing room so yeah love it absolutely love this room yeah, thank you so much for watching. So much for watching. I can't believe this video is finally going to be out on YouTube after like the longest time. I hope I didn't hype it up too much and you're like, oh, is that it? I'm happy with it. It's a nice little space, um, especially to get ready in the morning. I love just having my dressing table and my mirror and like finally just somewhere to sit and get ready. And I hope you guys like it too. Um, a nice little touch of the radiator. I really like that. Um, but thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon for another video. Goodbye, guys.